Adrian, the problem Broner. Okay, so here is Adrian Broner being introduced first, which is rare. Uh, he's a talent, even though he's a, a, the uh, WBC 135-pound champ. Moving up. 2002 and 2005 National Silver Gloves Champion. That's a new thing now. You have to have a rock rapper when you enter a ring. He's not a real champion unless you got a rapper with you. Took a page out of the Floyd Mayweather playbook. I think Roy Jones Jr. started it all at uh, Radio City Music Hall where his mic didn't work. The rapper's mic. Somebody was real, real, on, real on the job that night. You guys try to have a little fun. He's working the crowd as he comes down to the ringside. Well, however he approaches it, he's aware that boxing, like other professional sports, is showbiz. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you can you can work it too hard, and you, then you become the heel like he is right now. There he is. Showed you that win over Demarco. He scored win over Gavin Reese after that in the beginning of 2013. Coming up, two weight classes now. The fight. But you know, he's he's. Great fighter, a lot of talent. Just a question of uh, how far he goes. And now, here is the defending champion from Brooklyn, Polly, the Magic Man, Malinaji. of a beating, his eye socket was broken. I don't know how brave it was. But, you know, that Paulie will give you round. You wonder if Broner tried to get him out of there early because that would be a major thing to knock out Paulie Malnagy in Brooklyn early. But Paulie tends to survive. There is the magic man. What's up? I wouldn't be surprised if it's just temper flare in this one because it's, it's such a nasty uh, press uh, tour and press conference back in uh, Vegas. Ironically, though, I think they needed that to build this fight up. They needed somebody to be a big talker. Well, and that's what Paulie ended up doing. And it went too far. We talked about the, the social media that came into it, yeah. so it persisted, every little thing. I just want the entourage to, to keep it cool, that's all. 
Take a look at the tail of the tape. Tell us a few things. We got uh, uh, Paulie is nine years older. Uh, Brown is about an uh, inch and a half taller. And he's got an inch and a half reach. Weight's pretty much the same. 147 pound championship. Unified rules, no knock, no, no three knockdown rules, no standing eight counts. The fighter cannot be taken by the belt in any round, and only the referee or the doctor can stop the fight. All right, so they are the key particulars governing this contest. Paulie Malinaji and Adrian Broner. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Golden Boy Promotions, R&R &R Promotions and Showtime. We are sponsored by Corona, La Cerveza Mas Fina, AT&T, Piensa Sin Limites, and the new Showtime original series, Ray Donovan, premiering Sunday, June 30th, only on Showtime. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Gilberto Mendoza Jr., along with the New York State Athletic Commission. The chairperson is Melvina Lathan. Introducing to you our three judges, scoring for ringside, from Connecticut, Glenn Feldman. From Ohio, Tom Miller. And from New York, Tom Schreck. And introducing our referee in charge of this bout, Benji Estevez. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing gold trunks with black and white trim and joining us from his home of Cincinnati, Ohio. He weighed in at 146 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 26 wins, no losses, one no contest, with 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight moving up in weight and challenging for a third world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former WBO Junior Lightweight World Champion and the current WBC Lightweight Champion of the World, introducing the undefeated Adrian the Problem Broner. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks, hailing from and proudly representing his home of Brooklyn, New York. His weight, 146 and one half pounds. His record, 32 wins, four losses, with seven wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the second defense of his present title, here is the two-time world champion and the current defending WBA welterweight champion of the world, introducing the magic man, Pauli Malinaji. Once again, our referee in charge now to give instructions for this world title bout, Benji Estevez. Hold on, Jimmy. Seems like they can't get the zipper down. <laughs> the final glitch. Have to just cut it off. <laughs> There's Broner. A lot of overtures here resembling uh, to the days when Mayweather fought Atlantic City, Arturo Gatti's crowd. Mm -hmm in Atlantic City the big uh, going into the other guys hometown oh. as the huge favorite. Hold on yeah. one he was about five to Bravina. one that night. Broner up to what as much as about eleven the ring? to one. Paulie Malanaji even before the fight was announced and, and it was done 
There's not much we can do, guys. Was big on what he was going to do to Broner. He didn't have to sell anybody then. So right. He thought he saw something. Okay, Paulie, Adrian, you receive your pre-bout instructions. I want a professional fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch him up, play the best man win. So much for any cordial yeah. tapping of the gloves. Answered one question right there. When he talked about, you know, he went a little too far with it. Yep. Often happens when they say, hey, you know, say a lot of things and hike the fight. How do you know when to stop? Right. I think they crossed the line right off the bat and just never went, went back across it. Yeah, I, I felt that uh, Paulie Malinaji was trying to get inside the head of Broner. Okay, let's see. All the talk is over, and here we are. We get to see how quick Paulie is and how quick Broner is. Both very fast. Broner might be a little faster. Malinaji will try to box the move. Broner called him a one-armed bandit the past week. Malinaji has had difficulty with his right hand. He's hurt it. He's not a power puncher to begin with. No. He usually will laugh about it. Yeah. He knows how to fight with one hand, so that's, you know, that's an advantage right there. It's funny to think about it. Seven knockouts in three in his first three fights. Right. Three knockouts in nine years. And yet he would win these fights by decision. Yeah. Tough fights. And he'd go in against guys like Cotto or Khan or Hant, bigger guys, and, and, and you know, might be one armed and still, you know, hang in there. Broner said, I'm going to be the first guy to knock you out. Actually, uh, Malaj was stopped by Ricky Hatton in the 11th round of their fight a few years back. Look at Malaj, he's bounced back from. Oh, yeah. Bad efforts, tough efforts, and, and, and fought well the, the next time. How many guys have actually gone into another country and, you know, and try and win a title? And, and Paulie said that he threw off the apple part of a lot of people's thinking by doing that. Yeah. He went over Senchenko. Malaj is trying to pepper on the outside and stay out there. He'll be jamming and moving to his left. Broner not always a fast starter, but the first time he hits a guy, he often changes the course of the fight to good. And you see that the Broner has that Mayweather trait with the shoulder up high, rolls the shoulder to uh, catch punches. Mayweather mastered it to perfection for a long time. A string of opponents in major fights that could not land more than 20% of their punches against him. And, uh, you know, a lot of his tricks have rubbed off on Broner. Yep. Same management, etc. Having a right hand by Malinaji. Trying to see what Malaji had. Probably gave the first round. Nice and relax. Take a deep breath. Nice and relax. Nice and relax. Give me a little bit of walk, man. All right. Nice and relax, Paulie. All right. Just keep it sharp in there. All right. Remember that head movement, son. You got me. All right. Now I need you more on that jab. Okay. You're doing real good. Keeping him, keeping him tied up, all right? But I need that jab, that double jab, all right? Good. Make him on his heels. Keep going him on his heels, okay? All right, but keep popping the jab, all right? All right? Okay, okay. And then when he go up under you, you got to come like you did. Come that right hand over the top. Okay. Chop it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? And if you try to hold you, I want that kidney shot, okay? All right, let's go. Keep walking it down, okay? All right? You see the shots, don't you? Easy, okay? It's Paulie Malinaji on his home turf. Adrian Broner. Curious to see if Broner picks it up in this round. I think he will. I think the uh, 
let Malanji bring everything to him in the opening round and measure where he's at. He's kind of not square so much as this. And there's some hand. quickness from Brown with that right hand. Almost as an afterthought. Paul is quick, but he doesn't have the power that Brown has. Right hand by Malinaji. Malinaji has to spend a lot of energy just to keep moving. Don't want to let Brown get set and then put all the power behind himself. Jab by Broner. All right, let him out. Step back cleanly, both of these. Malinaji knows he's got to stay on the move. For Broner, the key is to slow that movement and then turn it into a different kind of a fight. All these punches bounced off of Broner. Yeah, Broner hasn't really returned fire yet. So it's some good defense. On push, Paul, on push. Good right hand by Broner. Malanji tries to trade with him to send a message. Trying to get some respect. That's a one shot from Broner right here, right over the top. Right hand by Broner. Another one. Three by Broner. Or he may wear the rest. Yeah, those yeah. Shots. And, and Paulie's throwing a lot of punches. But, you know, the output's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. But the connect and the power is going to be down. Come on, come on, stop that. Let's go. Broner is cutting off ground here. And now he's toying. He's talking to Malinaji now. The referee told him to cut it out, but I don't think he's going to listen to him. Didn't catch what it was, but probably along the lines of you've got nothing because Malinaji was throwing everything at him. Right hand lead by Broner gets it. Uh, Green, no punching. Well, we got to keep moving. The problem he's got to plan his feet. This doesn't have the, the power that, that uh, keeps running off him. It's a perfect technique here by Malinaji. He just can't get him out of him. Oh, you see, you see, I'm going to put up a knee, try to kick him. I thought the first one was going to have to throw with his punches. That's going to get nasty. Now it's going to get nasty. Rona's coming in, right hand, good shot. Paulie misses. It seems like that, that Rona's bringing that leg up. Malinaji's throwing shots to the body, the combination. Not a lot of power, but he's landing a couple. And he's pushing him back. Oh, man, you, you could take a point from there. You could take two. Utterly deliberate, and then a punching on top no. of it. How could Benji had to take a step or to take a point on that one? Now let's see if there's a counter. Yeah. By Malinaji. That thing was caught. You wonder if Mal Malinaji throws a low blow just to yeah. Get, yeah, just for payback. Try to get his money's worth. Yeah. But that's the thing for Broner. You know, you're one of the elite fighters in the game. Is the of the left hand and the drive in fact, you don't need to be doing that thing. It takes away from you. No, not at all. I thought that either Broner would get him out three or four rounds or to go to distance. He jabs and right hand by Malinaji. Bernard Hopkins would hit you low and take the point and apologize. That'd slow you down. Yeah, by Broner. This is the trash talk has continued into the ring. Right. On his behalf, Balanji is not doing any of the talk. No, he's just trying to fight right now. Good right hand by Broner. 
bad thing about Paul. He takes a good shot. Takes too many now. So many punches to be out of gas at some point. Bruno won't have to soften him up. Right hand by Bruno. Malaji back. Stop at the boat. Right hand by Bruno. Defensively. Remember to get them hands back up. You understand me? And I need a better head movement, baby. Loosen up. All right, let's go. Paul, you keep them hands going. You keep putting the combinations the combination together. Point. This guy's defensive. You make him put his hands in his pocket. Yeah, but you got to keep busy on that, okay? You got me? Don't let him come to you and don't run into something. You understand me? When he's trying to get set to come in, you let him run into something. That jab or straight right hand. Every now and again, flip the script and hit him with that right hand lead. Come back with that hook. You got me? Better lateral movement. Better lateral movement. Let's go, baby. Deep breath. This is yours. Have fun. That's the wrong opponent we're trying to have fun. Amen. Fourth round. Paul Malinaji and Adrian Groner. Malinaji defending his WBA welterweight championship. He has 32 and 4, 7 knockouts. Groner 26 and 0, 22 knockouts. Dave Bontempo and Tony Page with you from Barclays in Brooklyn, New York. You get the feeling Groner can end this anytime he wants to. Yeah, if he really wants to double up with these right hands and yeah. push it through. <laughs> There's the shoulder roll. And he brings the right hand over the top with Cap Curry. Yeah. Broner trying to cut off the ring. Benji Estevis really uh, needs to get tighter with these yeah. uh, guys because they, they... It's like anarchy when he gets in their middle. Yeah. Him up either, just you know, just they have a shot like that. And we follow up. Malinaji trying to do all the work here, yeah, as uh, he trained to do. And well, he's letting Paulie soften, the fight. Him, he's yeah. soften himself up. He's not he doesn't have to work the body, doesn't have to work the head. He's throwing so many punches at such a fast rate, he's gonna wear himself out. He's gonna run out of gas without Broner really doing anything. Then he'll catch him late in the fight or now if he wants to. Left took by Broner. No, you got to get out of here. You can't stay there. And there was a shot Broner could have had. Right 
Jab by Malinaji. Going for Captain in one clean shot. He dropped forward. They tie up and fight through that. The hook by Broner was pretty good. more punches. Maybe give him two. Put in the first run. Yeah, yeah. See Brona coming in. Lead right hand, catch him right on the jaw, grab him tight, pull him back into the corner. I don't know, been using the jab. Stick, sticks it in. Yeah, I've got the fight, believe it or not, Dave, even two rounds apiece. Well, I could see that the Malinaji had the first round handed to him. Uh, the Grona was observing him, and then that was a good fourth round. It's just like it's a, it's a big pace he's setting for himself. You see how heavy he's breathing. I mean, he's, Third of the way through this. Well, he's got to try and get some cheap rounds, but he also knows he has to put them on get the him board. Out, get yeah. him out. I mean, if the only rounds you're going to win are the rounds that Brona gives you, you're just not going to win the fight. Uh, fifth round action. Tony Malinaji defending his 147-pound WBA championship. Adrian Broner, champion 130 and 135, coming up two weight classes here. All these big going punches. Big names in the division, Floyd Mayweather, Paulie's a champion, Devin Alexander, Tim Bradley. Question is where Broner wants to see himself. Young guy had trouble making weight at 130 and 135. I mean, the fight we showed you against him. Let him go, let him go. That was his victory winning the 135 pound championship. So, in just a couple of years, he's come up 17 pounds in, in fighting weight. He's a growing kid. So he wants to be the first fighter to make a billion dollars. I don't know about that. Oh, big right hand, hand by leaping. Lead, lead right hand, too. Leaping lead. And that's where he surprises you. As does Mayweather, the right hand lead is not supposed to be thrown against the righty. Right. But if you're fast enough, you can break the rule. Oh, yeah. And he is. is well intentioned with the shots to the body but just cannot destroy it. Gotta keep his hands up though. Gotta keep his hands up. Oh, get it tired. Here comes Broner. Right hand just misses. Malinaji tying up. Body shots by Malinaji. Broner trying to toy with him with the talk. Trying to make it feel embarrassed about not not being able to hurt him. But
Roman trying to come underneath. Edry spins around. Oh, where's the referee? Now, he could have really hurt Roman on his neck. And the elbow, and I told you, told and you right the, in front of the referee. They said there was an elbow there. He missed about three points. He's actually here. That's why my is in the house. They can go to his protege. So, money is here. And we're into round six. Now, sometimes we see these fights in the art that corners should be lobbying the referees for them, yeah. where their fighters get unjust treatment. Right. In some states, though, they put more or less a gag order on the corners, and they don't want them complaining, but they take a point away. So the guy has to walk a, a real fine line in lodging a complaint. What bothers me is his Broner is this good that he doesn't need all these foul tactics. Absolutely not. In fact, they, they will diminish him. Right. Yeah, if you get these fights and then the replays are showing you with the knees and the twirl arounds. Oh, we know a few referees uh, who would have taken points already. And they would have been justified. Yep. Right hand by Broder. I see she get headlock. And this is where the referee has to already be in there. Yeah. He's too far away. You stop warning him. You start. You just you warn him with him to take a point if you do something again. Malnadi with two straight punches on Broner. Caused the buzz around him. For so long, shot to the body, that will slow you down. That'll take your legs away. Well, he's got uh, slower movement here. Like I said earlier, he let Paulie do all the work just by throwing punches. Uh, shot by Malinaji. Hook by Brunner, a good hook to the head. And you, you, you look at it, and you don't really feel like you've seen the best of what Broner can no. throw in this fight. No, just hold it back. As we see a lot with Mayweather. He's not really punishing Paul. He has a couple of good shots here and there, but it's not close to taking him out. If he puts his mind to it, he probably could. Right hand by Broner. Right hand by Broner comes up. Paul is slowing down. Yeah, and so it's uh, more opportunity for Broner to load up. Tape on the glove from Malinaji, but won't uh, surface in time for him to get a break here. Yes. We're halfway through. And Broner asserting some muscle. All right, baby. Hey. You see it, don't you? Huh? You see it? How you? Yeah, you're looking good, man. You're looking good. Put him a little sponge. Cool him off. 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 Look at it. Okay, look, look, look. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, listen. Keep, keep put the pressure on him, okay? But counting that hook. Yeah, he's coming forward. My lines against the ropes. Good left hook to the belly by uh, Broner. Finds another couple of rib shots to slow him down a little bit more. He's been breathing hard. Texas, take his legs away with those body shots. And he goes back upstairs to the head. Tries to just miss it there. Holy bent too far forward. You see Broner start, starting to get ready to go in for the knockout, I think. All right, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Marty Malinaji has been fighting uh, on his bicycle, moving the entire time. Seventh round action underway. Malinaji 32 and 4, seven knockouts. 126 and 0, 22 knockouts. Dave Bob Tempo and Tony Page with you here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York.
foul when Bronner goes on the offense because he doesn't have that shoulder up. Now he's just coming forward. Shoot jabs off the shoulder. Fighting to pull himself to put a little pressure on, then he rolls that shoulder over. I don't know if the fighter, Mayweather also, when they put the shoulder up, just quickly spin around, pop them and get out of there. Just hard to hit these guys with that fast, but at least fine. Hook by Bronner and Malanagi again in the corner where he doesn't want to be. Does he spin out of there, then jabs and moves to the left. Well, we see a representative effort from Malanagi in everything he can do in the ring. Because we all know Bronner can step it up when he wants to. Paulie doesn't have anything to step up to. This, this is, is it. This is his match. Which he had to bring because uh, if, if he doesn't fight anymore or doesn't fight much, yeah, he's still in the limelight as a broadcaster oh, yeah. and, and he has to go face people after this. So you know he would bring everything here and he has. And, and this is a better effort than he showed against Connor. Oh yeah. But you know it's gonna it just doesn't thing. matter, maybe, but when he goes back to broadcasting for the Showtime network and he's gonna have to call Bronis fight, so that's a good well, you know, he uh, he has shown an ability to look past that. Oh, yeah. When he interviewed Juan Diaz. Yeah. Who he had had two fights with. And then he was in the ring interviewing him and uh, had a very good disposition about it. And, and you get the sense that these guys will eventually back off. I would uh, hope so. Of this. Or the trash talk. Doesn't need to be a blur for a team. <laughs> and a good shot from the body by a brawler. Malanagi tries to, to come, come back. back. He's just throwing a lot of punches, but uh, they're not the same. <laughs> See, Paulie Malanagi just shrugged. Right. He's doing everything I can. Right. And these are good shots he's throwing. Good technique, good execution. It's not the results he would want. <laughs> On the other hand, what <laughs> <Brother laughs> letting him hang around. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, you're on the road. Yeah. Give me some water. I got you. Give me some water. All right. Good. Rona looking for that open. Paulie falls for him with that jab. And there's a short little uppercut. Paulie keeps throwing, gets hit with another right hand. Rona just lets him throw to a pity pat. Comes in with a bigger shot. But Paulie came back with his right or hand, right on the chin. Paulie takes a good shot. He tries to come back with a little, little arsenal of weapons. Hooks and jabs. Punches with not a lot of sting on it. Too bad. Okay, you gonna get it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, champ. Let's go. I think gonna go get him. You ready? Shorten them up, okay? Shorten everything up. Sometimes we'll have to figure that's a turn of a phrase, a figure of speech. Go get them in the uh, most collective sense, in general sense, you think. Here we are in the round eight. Tony Malanji and Adrian Broner. Malanji has done everything he can but to not hurt Broner. Nope. And Broner has done a portion of what we think he can still bring. Well, Paulie's not even marked, to be honest with you. Bronis hit him with a couple of good shots, but he was wobbled once, and that was about it. Up to this point, yeah. the Amir Khan did more damage. Yeah. Interesting as you look at Broner up at uh, 147 and try to get him engaged to where you think he belongs. In fight by fight, he shows different amount of levels of how much he wants to fight. Mm -hmm. Broner to put it all together here. Yeah. And uh, it's there, but it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, 
hand here by Jonah. Now you want you backing up. You get the big build up, you know, you're the, you're the next big thing in boxing and you, you come to fight Malinati. And, you know, I mean, he could still not pull it out, but so far it's not a very impressive position. No, no, indeed. Coming up two weight classes and the nonchalant attitude about everything. Yep. I mean, you hate to see that the press conference and the press tour was, was if you will, more exciting than the fight itself. In your nose, come on. Deep breath. Deep breath, son. Good. All right. Good. Paulie. Yes. Keep that shit up, all right? Yes. Yeah, you, you make he ain't hitting you. He ain't hitting you no more than you hitting him. All right? Paulie, you got a lot more in your tank, baby. Let's keep put it on this guy. All right? Just keep putting it on this guy. Now you're getting you get hey, you're getting your rhythm now. I want you to keep that rhythm, you understand me? Keep that rhythm, keep going in and out on this guy. You make him miss and make him pay. Okay? You hit him with a real nice hand, right hand lead a minute, a little bit ago, all right? Don't be afraid to let it happen again. He's a sucker for it, because he's trying to be, gr be greedy, and he's going to run right into that moment. And Money Mayweather. The interested uh, ringside observer has had such an effect on the demeanor of Adrian Broner, who now starts round nine against Pauli Maladaji. Interesting uh, by play in the corner. And, uh, trying to tell Pauli Maladaji what to do the next round. It just goes water, water. Pauli talking to, to Floyd. He is. It's like talking to Floyd Mayweather while he's fighting against Broner. <laughs> He's not shy. But you know, and that's like the ultimate disrespect. That's probably the best punch that Paulie's landed all night. I ain't paying you no mind. I'm talking to Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Broner has mocked him about punching power, so a yeah. uh, little one up would shift there. Right? He said, stop trying to be like Floyd during the press conference out in Vegas. Keep him up, keep him up. Let's just stop talking. Man. This well, I'm seeing a little bit more attitude for Malinaji within this fight here. Perhaps he's got the second win. Perhaps he's seeing that round nine, you can visualize the end of this. Yeah. Try to pour some energy into this last four round sequence here. Good shots by Maranaji. Yeah. <laughs> he got one in there. And this is not where Maranaji wants to be, but he's tired. No, no he's very deep. He's a survivor. Bonner has him lined up and then scores with that sneaky right hand. There's a good uppercut by Broner, good right hand by Broner. Malinaji walked through it and then takes another big uppercut. He's still standing. Broner gave him trouble and he walked into more. Good body shot by Broner. And that was 
uh, four punishing shots. Yeah. Watch the uppercut. Paul. Oh. step back and throw it. Ah. Ah. Here for Paul. Paul for this round. And Broner won the round. Oh. 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 Shake and bake. Good job. Have a seat, baby. Dookie, look here. You short shots on the inside, you're catching him with that shit, all right? You keep putting that shit on him because he thinks he can take a break there. But you keep putting them short combinations on him, all right? Don't even come back in his ass. Yeah. Play, give me that towel. Give me the towel. Round 10 coming up. Round I know around this. Championship rounds. Let's go. Now this is when you go to the body, Mike. Let's go, baby. All right, I want to start ripping now, okay? Right. He's on his hand heels now. Both sides, okay? Uh -huh. There you see, nice right hand by Broner. But then he comes back kind of a slap. Paulie kind of tries to tag him, but he can't get him. Paulie just got him in the corner trying to do some damage. Nice right hand by Broner. Paulie trying, but just doesn't have the power. Well, Broner said this is the round, so we'll see. He said we'll go to the body this round as well. As we start round 10, is this the round Broner wants to try and finish this fight? He is 26-0, 22 knockouts, trying to take the 147-pound title away from Paulie Malinacci, who is 32-4, seven knockouts. One thing that uh, Broner has done is he's taken the crowd out of it as far as being a major plus right. for Malinaji. They haven't gotten behind him. We're not hearing a lot of Paulie, Paulie. People surprised Paulie, you know, this, this fight's still going on. You know, oh, 11 to 1 underdog, just be out of there. Yeah, he has put up a good effort. <laughs> Obviously, uh, it's going to be a win for uh, for uh, Broner, but if he wins a decision, is, is that a good thing for Broner? And especially if this looks like an 8 4 7 5 on uh, one of the cards. Here comes the, here comes the Pauly chant. Pauly, 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 that Malachi would be winning this fight. Curious to see when this is over. What, type, what happens if the, the end of the ring is over? Well, oftentimes you see the backing off. I mean, there wouldn't be a, a rematch. Fight, so why, why would they continue it? Because sometimes people are PK. Body shot by Broner. Left hook by Broner. still trying. And this is also a battle within Golden Boy. Because they're both promoted by the company. And Broner takes a lot of attention. He's got to Broner right there. Next star. Following him a bit. I got you. I got you. All right. Deep breath. Nope. Deep, Holy deep breath. Come on. Take a deep breath. Let's go. Hold it and let it out slow. Take a look at some of that last round action. Is that close? Jab. Another jab by Paulie. You want to 
I wonder what judge might be scoring this in Paulie's favor. Because he's throwing a lot of high volume punches. So they're not doing any damage, but they're landing. You do get the sense that maybe one of these cards could be false because yeah. he does have the volume edge. And, he, and you know what? He's been throwing this volume of punches since the first round. Never slowed down. And I got it 99-93 uh, Broner way out in front. And here we go into round 10. 11. Two rounds to go. Adrian Broner closing ground here on Kevin Malinowski. Right hand by Broner. It's been a good hustling effort by Malinowski and some good power being distributed by Broner. The power just didn't, we know, we don't know Paul could take a shot. But I don't see Broner loading up to, 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 to deliver multiple shots of damage. It is very Mayweather-like how he's been fighting this. Uh, you know, the yeah. short shots, the ones, the power is about a five or a six. Stop, stop, trying stop. to get that There's another one by Broner from behind the back. I think you take a point. You should take a point. This is the final warning. Let's give it to the You should take it to the point. Time in. Benji Stevens has had about five chances to get control of his fight that way. And that, that gesture now don't mean much to these guys. No. Work it out, work it out. Let's go. spot in the fight that Malanji would like to be, but he's yeah. tired, of course. He doesn't put the second one behind him. No, he's trying to do it on one shot, and the guy takes a bunch of work, certain guys down. Good hook to the body by Broner. Right now, baby, all right? Yeah, for all the marbles. For all the marbles, son. All right? That's right. Come on. all right. How you feel? Good. All right, let's go. Keep going, okay? All right, you got to go to the body. Keep going to that body. You hear me? All right? Let's go. All right. Good out. Good out. Good. Let's go, baby. All right? It's been a good one. Adrian Broder and Pony Malanji tap up and we start the final round. Victory, Paulie goes a distance. 
he's looked uh, pretty solid throughout. The poorly champ is holding a couple rounds ago right now. Mm -hmm. As he has come past that hump in the middle rounds where Porter was holding him and getting to him, and then he has come out with attitude. That's why he's breathing so heavy. I thought he was going to run out of gas, but he must, he must put himself in tremendous shape to go through this. Well, and, and we saw it happening all the uh, last couple of months uh, on the broadcast circuit. He had to cancel a couple of appearances so that he could tend to his training. Right. Very serious about it. And even uh, when he was broadcasting the fight, he'd be looking for places to train on the day of his fight. Right. He was on top of it that way. And he was brash back then. to have this point. Go up to the body from Bronner. Body shot by Malaji. Based on this fight, so far with about a minute to go. Malinaji loses his title with the shirt. Come back and fight again. And you know, in boxing, in people's eyes, you are the product yep. of your last fight. And, you know, when they put this fight together based on what happened with Kano, yeah. they said, ah, Paul is at the end. You know, and that's how it uh, looked to many. Yeah. But he knew something a lot of people did not. And a lot of faith in himself. He was able to ward that off for a while based on this. Well, he could fight. Yeah, so far. Yeah. His aggression uh, has picked up throughout the entire second half of this fight. He's probably saying he's supposed to knock me out 50, you know, four rounds ago. What happened? When this is over, probably on uh, may wish he had more time to work with him. I start talking to Floyd some more. For Paulie. Yeah, he put on for the show. He <laughs> sure did. Uh-oh. Well, they both think we're close enough because they're both up on our feet. And there's Floyd. And I had a 118-110 for Bronnie. Almost 
punches he got hit with not, no arms, no nothing. Probably landed more volume wise. Oh, yeah. Doesn't have a lot on them. Maybe he doesn't land enough for two fights. Or, or do enough for two fights. Don't, don't. Don't, don't. Just for the tabulations now. Right. Got to get some of the people out. Who you should take this one. This is one of your fighters. Start to worry a little bit about the rhythm. Yeah. Oh, really? Racing things. <laughs> We have a split decision. Here are the score totals. <laughs> Jet ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Adrian Broner. Judge Tom Miller sees it 115 to 113 in favor of Polly Malinaji. <laughs> And Judge of Ringside, Tom Shrek sees it 117 to 111 in favor of the winner and the new WA Welterweight Champion of the World, Adrian the Problem Bruner. Decision, huh? <laughs> well, we talked about fighting on the road. Yep. Making no assumptions. Yeah, I kept throwing punches. I said somebody's going to be counting them. Yep. Figured there could be maybe at least one seven five, and that's what that boils down to. Or well, two seven five right. on opposite sides. I think Paulie's stock goes up a little more than yes. than, than uh, Broner's. 